Yo, what's up guys, it's new here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be giving you guys 5 editing tricks that I frequently use when I'm editing a video on Android. Some of which are going to help you to win a lot of time and others are going to generally make your editing skills better. So without being sad, let's get started. Okay, so the first one is a really cool trick because it's super time saving that I use a lot. So if you go to media and you look for a certain photo or video that you use pretty frequently like a intro or an outro, but there's a lot of folders and you struggle a lot to find it every time, you can go ahead and just look for that thing, long press it and hit on that star button and it's just going to automatically add it to your favorites folder. So if you go back to media, you no longer have to look for that specific folder to get your thing that you're looking for you can always find it right over here as you can see i just put the most uh frequently used things right over here like my intro and outro you can access anything that you frequently use from this folder from now on so yeah this is actually a really time saving feature and as you saw i have a lot of things that i put in my favorite folder just because i use it in almost all of my videos Okay, so this editing trick is involving text. So if you want to make your text looks pretty dope on KineMaster, I have this trick where I create this 3D looking text. So just go ahead and write in whatever you want. I'm going to put in my uh, YouTube channel name right over here. Uh, of course, you can go ahead and just change the font first thing first. And then go ahead and just scroll down on this menu right over here. And you're going to find the glow and the outline. Just go ahead and just uh, enable everything and then make everything to black. And just increase the, um, the opacity if it's off. And then go ahead and press on those three buttons right there and hit on duplicate layer. I usually go for like three times or four times. You can do as many as you want. And as you can see, what that making is making the shadows less softer and more sharpened. And then what you can do is you're going to go ahead and you can just press on the top layer of the text uh, just like this. And then you can go ahead and just take it and just move it around till it looks kind of like 3D. It may take some time to actually get the correct angle to make it look 3D. But if you are in a rush and you don't have a lot of time to go to Photoshop to edit 3D text and come back to KineMaster, you can just do this effect on your titles or text or whatever you are using it on. And as you can see, it don't look bad at all. This looks actually pretty damn good. You can use this on an outro an intro you can even add more sharpness to that shadow and you can do whatever you want with it and as you can see it still look pretty damn good so yeah this is the second trick okay so this next trick is involving transitions so i made this video like a while back teaching you guys how you can make a really smooth transitions on kai master you should definitely go ahead and check that video out if you didn't yet but as you can see, you can go ahead and just apply this effect on your transition and it makes everything looks pretty damn smooth. But a lot of people don't know that if you add a sound effect, the transition will be way more better and it will sound just whole different and amazing. So all you have to do is to go ahead and hit audio button and then to go ahead and just search for this whoosh sound effect that of course i'm going to be leaving in description below so you can go ahead and download it from there and if you go ahead and just uh, adjust it and just put it so it's going to match that smooth transition it's going to look way better and this is one of those small things that a lot of people appreciate and when people just see that you are taking care of every single detail on your video they are going to love your videos which is going to drive them to actually follow you which is really really important and i'll let you guys judge this one i'll give you before and after the sound effect and you let me know which one actually looks pretty dope Okay, so this is one of those time-saving editing tricks that I love and basically if you are gaming or you pre-recorded something and you forgot to ask for likes, you can go ahead and just use an overlay which you can see right over here I already saved in my favorites and an overlay looks like this. I made a video about how to make something similar to this 
a while ago i will make sure to put it in the description below if you guys are interested but you can go ahead and just import it on the video and put it like full screen and it looks pretty damn cool now you can go ahead and add an in and out animation i like to use the scale up for uh, a scale down sorry for the in animation and the scale up for the out animation which actually looks pretty damn cool and you can use any transition you feel comfortable with i just like to use this animation for this particular overlay and as you can see if you play back it looks good and you just asked people to like the video without even talking in the video which is a plus so yeah guys these are all the tricks that i have for you guys if you want me to do more videos like these go ahead and like this video also subscribe to my youtube channel thank you guys so much for watching and i catch you guys later peace out